Well, you ain't got to go back. And the boyfriend said nothing. Baby nothing. girl, uh, time to go. Because the okay. yeah. it ain't right. going right. to. It, it's not going to get any better if he is comfortable with anybody disrespecting you to your face like that. And the fact that he didn't at least check her when she kept talking after the girlfriend walked away. Because it was that serious. Don't act like it's not that serious. I wouldn't be upset. If it wasn't that serious, don't minimize the situation. But when mm -hmm. after you did that and I walk away and she's still talking and you're still not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> I And I think there's a larger same energy. Right. And I think there's a larger conversation to be had here. That this instance just kind of just brings to light is that. People don't understand when you choose a partner, how important that is. This is what I mean by that. Your partner is the supposed to be the most important relationship that yeah. you have. Yeah. But it's above everything else. I remember one of my closest friends when he was a kid, I've told this story before, asked his dad, hey, dad, who do you love more, me or mom? His dad, without hesitation, said, your mother. I chose to spend the rest of my life with your mother. That's right. the most important relationship. So yes, we love our moms. We love our fathers. We love our brothers and sisters, our cousins, all that. All yeah. We love all of that. But when we choose a partner to spend the rest of our life with, you post that, a Eve. Wait a minute, what? It is, this is what it says in the Bible. When you choose a partner, you cleave. Or you separate yourself from your family. You are no longer, that's no longer your immediate family. This is now your family. Mm -hmm. And it needs to be the most important thing to you. And so I don't think if people you're get that. Okay. people just out here choosing people to be with. It, right. I once had a friend say to me, I can have marital bliss with anybody. And I was like, okay, I'm okay. You you might have a legitimate argument with you could have marital bliss with anybody. Yes. I get along with a lot of people. Could I be in a relationship for a long period of time with somebody and just be content? Yes, that is absolutely possible. However, I'm going to take that commitment the next time a little bit more seriously. <laughs> yeah. A little bit more seriously. I took it. I took it seriously the first time, but you, but you know what I mean? I'm going yeah. to take that commitment is important and yeah. i think that people just haphazard be jumping into stuff not realizing that you are trying to choose a partner yeah that's going to be with you to the for the rest of your life yeah this is this is the most important relationship that you're going to have and in this instance where this gentleman it's clearly showing no my relationship with my mother still more important than the relationship with you, you're right. She need to bounce. Yeah. It also highlights another very important thing, and that is some of y'all got real unhealthy relationships with your parents. Well, sometimes we all do. Yeah, but you don't... Listen. You don't owe your parents. Mm -mm. That's not... That's not why they became parents. It shouldn't have been. For, for their kids to owe them back for what they get. No, they're supposed to love you unconditionally and try to guide you to becoming a functional, halfway decent adult. Halfway decent. Right. And then you're supposed to go. You're supposed to, you're supposed to leave. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and start your own life and keep that cycle going if you so choose. A lot of us choose not to. Because we're like, mm, that's kind of hard. But like, <laughs> and that's a lot of pressure and responsibility. Okay, but if you so choose, then okay, then you continue on that tradition, raising children, but you don't. And there's too many people out here who feel like they owe their parents a debt mm -hmm. for being alive. No, the debt is we got bills now. We didn't ask for those. Uh, well, yeah, we did not ask for those. <laughs> that's, 
okay? But but your parents are supposed to teach you and guide you and then set you free. <laughs> set them free. Set them free. Okay. So yeah. some of y'all have real unhealthy relationships with your parents. Mm-hmm. Don't even realize it. Maybe this, maybe this conversation will make people aware yeah. of how unhealthy the relationship with their parents actually is. You don't owe them anything. You weren't asked to be brought into this world. If they tell you that I did this, this, and this for you, you know, you don't, res you don't respect or appreciate what I did. I, we didn't ask you to do that. Right. Okay. You, you chose to bring me into this world. Yeah. This was your choice. I had no choice in the decision. Yeah. None. I and am your responsibility. That's, that's what it is. And so I owe you nothing. I owe you respect. If respect has been given, I owe you respect. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I owe you nothing. If you like that clip, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to catch up on all of our latest content. Don't forget to hit the notification button when you do subscribe so you can get updated every time we release content. We release content every day, whether it's an actual show or clips from the show. So go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Also, don't forget our Patreon page where you can find our Talking Straight Ish and After Hours Uncensored episodes. That's patreon.com backslash uncensored unsolicited perspectives but once again thank you again for listening to unsolicited perspectives i'm your host bruce anthony and i'm gonna catch you next time i'll holla